Keith Lee is in another controversy. This time it's not about a bad food review that he gave, which led to a restaurant being shut down or anything like that. It's actually about him possibly ingesting parasitic worms while eating sushi for a food review. <laughs> This is crazy, but I'm Jew. Welcome to the channel. Please like and share the video. Don't forget to sub. Now, let's get into it. Now, y'all know Keith Lee. Dude has almost 17 million followers on TikTok. Like every single video he puts up does millions of views for reviewing food trucks and restaurants. The dude is so popular that a Keith Lee review of a struggling restaurant can completely turn things around and have lines around the corner with products selling out for the restaurant. It's called the Keith Lee effect. It's been four days since the Keith Lee effect here happened. Now, I promise you, I think they bought the paint off the wall. And also bad reviews can have a whole city up in arms, like his Atlanta or DC area restaurant reviews. I still in the DMV, and there's a few things I wanna talk about, so let's talk about it. I know we only posted about three spots from Washington, but we went to about 12, and we made a decision as a family and as a team, and also a personal decision to not post most of them. And the reason for that, a lot of those videos, in my opinion, aren't constructive at all. I'm gonna just show you a little bit of our personal experience. It's the whiten with the sweet potatoes and mac and cheese. Unfortunately, I won't be trying any of it. As always, I ain't trying to be rude, I'm just be honest. The smell of this, insane. This perforated the whole car. It smells almost unedible, in my opinion. I don't want to smoke. Mm -mm. The entire customer service experience, in my opinion and in my family's opinion, was completely unprofessional. It said on the IG that they opened at 1 o'clock. The truck didn't open up until 2.15. No gloves, no washing hands, grabbing money, grabbing strawberries, grabbing fruity pebbles, and putting it on top of our food. The reason there's no food in my hand is because a lot of the restaurants we've been recommended since we've been here look like this. And I'm not the target audience just based on the pictures. So I don't appreciate it and I don't think it's fair that we get criticized for not doing research or not going to a lot of restaurants in DC or the DMV area. I've noticed how the media has been pushing since we've been here. A lot of media outlets picked up on the fact that I said restaurants out here, in my opinion, tend to lean towards promoting alcohol more than they promote food. That's been headlines more than us being in an actual city and being blessed enough to touch the people that we touch. We ran to a lot of people that was extremely nice. We even went to a comedy show randomly, but that's another reason why I'm keeping most of those videos. But this latest controversy is about a restaurant in Seattle named Fob Sushi Bar, which Keith Lee recently visited to try their sushi and do a food review. The food is bag is sushi. But sushi done in the most unique way that I've ever seen in my entire life. The name of this restaurant is Fob Sushi Bar, and it was one of the most recommended places since we've been here. Once you pick the box, you grab a tong, and you go down the line, and you pick the sushi that you want. They have over 30 different options. I put soy sauce on all of these, too, by the way. This is spicy salmon belly with chili oil on top. Same thing, the salmon is fresh, the rice is overcooked. I do like the addition of chili oil. It goes a little bit higher for me, 6.5 out of 10. But this, as a sashimi, is high, 8.5 out of 10. And especially for the price overall, this absolutely is a place that I would come back to. And I can see if you love sushi and you don't have a shelf of allergy, this is... Now, if you're not watching closely, you probably didn't notice anything strange with that clip. Hell, Keith Lee didn't even notice before he ate the sushi and gave Fob Sushi Bar a good review. But fans did notice something strange in Keith Lee's video. Something that appears to be a worm was moving while Keith Lee was holding the sushi still with chopsticks. Let me slow down the video and zoom in a little bit. Other TikTokers that noticed what looked to be a worm on the sushi started making videos pointing it out, voicing their concern about parasites affecting not only Keith Lee, but other customers that were there flocking to the restaurant due to Keith Lee's review. Keith Lee went to Fob Sushi in Seattle, Washington recently. I have to warn you, this is disgusting. He gave the sashimi a rating of 8.5 out of 10. I warned you. Look at the bottom corner here, okay? What's that? What's that? Oh, what is that? I looked into this a little bit and it seems like, I hate to tell you, but a lot of fish have worms and you're supposed to freeze fish before you present it for sushi if it's gonna be raw to kill the wormies. And it looks like this place chose not to do that maybe? I don't know, that's horrifying. The problem is I think they're actually like parasitic worms. And so that is an issue. I looked it up, I wanna say no thank you to herring worm disease where worms attach to your esophagus, stomach, or intestine. 
Uh, no, thank you. I will not be having any of them. And after these other videos went viral, fans started commenting on the Keith Lee's video calling out the restaurant and demanding a response. And more TikTokers started to make videos concerned for Keith Lee's health and offering him eating and cleansing advice after possibly ingesting parasitic worms. You guys blew up my DMs asking what to do about parasites. So aside from food safety, I'm going to talk about your best protection in this video. But someone else who ate at the same restaurant last week is in the hospital with bloody diarrhea. And I will tell you today why two people can have different reactions to the same food. This was probably on a which is becoming frighteningly common in raw fish, but tapeworms, this is a tapeworm, which you can get from salmon or any freshwater fish, can take up to six weeks to incubate. What you need is stomach acid. If you take heartburn drugs or shields are down and foodborne illness photon torpedoes will destroy, you also need to poop every day and you need bile for that. Bile is the master gardener of your intestinal microbiome and one of the main things that makes your intestines do the worm so you don't get the worm. If you have good food safety habits and good digestive health and you accidentally eat a worm, you just digest it. If you want help digesting and you want to have a great poop every day without laxatives and you want to get rid of that nasty tongue coating this is the supplement that I recommend to most of my patients. It even has a very mild anti-parasitic action, sort of like ginger, perilla, and wasabi. But if you know you have a parasite, the first thing you should do is Western medicine. I'm an herbalist, and I said see a doctor and take the drug. After this whole situation went viral, Fob Sushi Bar finally made a statement, responded to public concern about their food safety, storage, preparation, and their procedures on Instagram. Dear valued customer, we are honored to welcome Keith Lee to Fob Sushi and are incredibly grateful for his visit visit and the support from everyone who was stopped by. Recently, a video is circulated online that claims that worms were found in our sashimi. We want to address this claim directly and assure you that it is entirely false. At Fob Sushi, we are committed to uploading the highest health and safety standards to provide clean, fresh, and safe food for every customer. All seafood served at Fob Sushi is sourced from trusted suppliers such as Young Ocean Inc. We process their products under hazard analysis, critical control points regulations. This includes both fresh and frozen seafood ensuring compliance with stringent safety standards. According to FDA's Fish and Fisheries Products, Hazards, and Control Guidance, freezing fish at specified temperatures effectively eliminates parasites. They then give the temperatures. All of our frozen products meet these standards, and any fresh products are intended to be frozen before consumption to completely eliminate any potential health risks. I honestly don't think that was a great response. Dumping all of this information on Instagram doesn't prove they're actually following the procedures that they posted. But they did go on to try to provide an explanation as to what viewers could have possibly saw move on the sushi because they claim it wasn't worms. Regarding this video, the movement observed in the fish may result from natural elasticity or the pressure of the chopsticks when applied to its structure. We want to ensure our customers that this is not indicative of worms or any health concerns. We are proud of our meticulous fish handling process, which involves careful freezing, inspection, and preparation by our skilled chefs. We have never had any issues regarding food safety and remain committed to serving you the highest quality seafood. If you have any questions or concerns, we encourage you to reach out to us directly so we can address them transparently. Thank you for your continued trust and support of Fob Sushi. Look, I've eaten a ton of sushi in my life and maybe flakes or something like that may have fallen off when I picked up the sushi with chopsticks, but nothing ever moved on its own like it was alive. If it did, I would have dropped that sushi and ran out of the restaurant. So yeah, I feel like that was a pretty bad response and didn't really answer any of the questions or concerns that people had. And the public has continued to make comments about what they think it could be that was moving on the sushi. Most people think it was a worm due to the sushi not being stored or prepared properly. After a few days of fans being really concerned for Keith Lee's health after possibly ingesting parasitic worms, he finally made a video addressing the whole situation. We went to a place called Five Sushi in Seattle the other day. Somebody slowed the video down and it did appear that something moved. A thousand percent transparency. I didn't see anything until somebody pointed it out. The only reason I'm making this video is because I just saw a video of somebody who went the day after us and now they hospitalized. So if somebody's standing in the hospital and there's something moving in food, I absolutely think there's accountability that should be taken. It's good to know that he's healthy. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, he actually didn't see anything move on the sushi while he was eating it like we did in the video. But another reason he spoke out is because he saw that someone that visited the restaurant after him was hospitalized. Now this creator alleges that him and his girlfriend ate at Fob Sushi on Monday and that she is now in the hospital with E. coli. So I don't doubt them. He alleges that with Within 24 hours of her eating the sushi, she was like, 
having tummy troubles, culminating in pooping blood. He also addressed the stupid reason or explanation that the restaurant gave as to why something on the sushi had moved the way it did. Again, them saying it wasn't something alive on the sushi that moved, but it was how he was holding the sushi with the chopsticks that made it look like something was alive or moving on the sushi. For the restaurant to post a statement and indicate that me holding the sushi or me holding the chopsticks a certain way is why the sushi moved. I personally don't agree with it because I've had sushi a thousand times and I held sushi a thousand different ways and never once have I seen sushi behaving that way. It was nothing that I did on my end. I literally was just eating as a customer and as a customer, I shouldn't be the one getting blamed for if it was something moving in the I think it's good we got a Keith Lee response. He addressed the whole situation as well as calling out the restaurant for possibly getting people sick. And after that video from Keith Lee, the restaurant made another statement completely changing its tone on the whole situation. Dear value customers, in response to food and safety concerns, we have decided to close our five sushi locations in Seattle and Bellevue until further notice. Your health and safety are our highest priorities. We are conducting a thorough investigation to address the situation and we'll take all necessary measures to prevent it from happening again. To our community, we are deeply grateful for your years of support and sincerely apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused. We remain dedicated to providing you with the highest quality sushi. While they didn't specifically address the worms or the parasite, clearly they're acknowledging that they have some type of issue going on in the restaurant. And people have been getting sick, especially with having to close down locations. Hopefully the person or people in the hospital is okay. Glad Keith Lee is good and he just addressed the crazy situation. This is definitely going to have me really inspect the sushi the next time I order it. I mean, a worm or damn sushi? Yuck. But thanks for watching. Y'all let me know what you think about all this. Are your sushi days over or are you still good? Either way, please join the Discord, check out the next video, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.